Alright everyone, time for some bonus footage! First off, I'm going to show you what I was talking about with the coin attack here. Um, I'll do the quick cash mode and I'll do uh, the Bowser Badlands course. This is what I mean that uh, it really doesn't pay to show off this course, because just watch us. Uh, see there's, there's, and it also slows down a lot in case you didn't see that there. Like, uh, because it's loading all, all these coins and sprites like that. Um, when you hit through these coins like this, you can see how many are flashing. And that'll pr indicate which ones that the ball will collect as they go through. Um, if, if the ball goes near around that area. Um, that was obviously a bad shot. But that's really all there is to the coin attack. Is collect as many coins as you possibly can within so many shots. You don't have to get it in the hole or anything like that. Um, you just have to collect as many coins uh, before the, before par. See that thing that's fluctuating at the right side of the, I mean, left side of the screen there, excuse me? Yeah, that, that indicates how many coins you will get in that particular shot if the ball flies along that targeting, targeting line. And that's pretty much it for the coin attack mode. Um, they hide coins underneath, like, bar bombs and inside pipes and stuff like that, but really, that's, there's nothing special to it other than collecting coins, so it doesn't pay to do a walkthrough on it. Um, the, ne the next thing is the coins, I mean the s club slots here. Um, I'll do four slots just for the heck of it and I'll do it on the Peach's Castle Grounds scores. Before you play a hole, um, they'll, pl they'll uh, ha there'll be this little slot machine. And this will determine which clubs, which how, mo how much wind, uh, how many points you get for the hole, uh, stuff like that. Like, I didn't get any driver because I got a star, I got three iron and an approach wedge. So that's all I got for the entire hole, see that? Plus a putter, of course. Um, so I can only play this hole with a three iron. So I would have to compensate uh, for my lack of driving ability, or I should say driving power, by hitting, or I should say, by doing trick shots, like hitting into this pipe here, to get closer to the hole and stuff like that. And this is not going to go in the pipe whatsoever, is it? Oh, no. Oh, it's going to hit the pipe, so I guess I came pretty close. And then I'd have to... Uh, play the hole uh, as I would normally do and try to get under par. This is a pretty interesting mode, but you already know the core strategy for this, and it changes so so, so rapidly depending on how, which kinds of clubs you get. So it doesn't pay to do a walkthrough on this mode either. Um, like, see, I had to compensate for how little power I had by using topspin to get to the green, and I accidentally underhit that ball. Whoops. <laughs> Um, and so, as I said, doesn't pay to do a walkthrough of this. You just have to play it as you go. If you happen to get all three stars on the slots, like let's say I got star, star, and star all across there on those three slots to the left, you would get to be able to use all your clubs like you were playing the hole normally. And uh, depending on what your score is for the hole, you get so and so many points. Um, the music for this game is pretty cool, uh, if, you did, if you can hear the music over with my voice. Listen. Yeah, I love the music for this course, or I should say this uh, mode here. Uh, so, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Just, I guess, time your slot presses correctly to try and get the slots to stop where you want them to. Like, try and pick the clubs that'll help you finish the hole the most easy. Like, if you're using a par 3, um, irons and short clubs are better than longer clubs. Um, par 5s, longer clubs are, of course, better than shorter clubs. Um, just You just gotta play everything as you go, and that's why I can't do a walkthrough with this mode very easily. Um, and as you see, I got double the points there. For powers, you get two points. Uh, birdies are probably like four points or three points or something like that. Uh, wait, it's three points for birdies, four points for uh, eagles, five for albatrosses, one for bogeys. If, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Uh, I don't really feel like checking right now, anyway. Um, so that's it for this. So I'm gonna end the game here. Um, what else is there to talk about here? I don't think there is anything more to talk about in this. Um, there's a doubles mode where you can either have, um, we, I mean, where you can play team modes with either stroke play, match play, four or three slots, or, or even a skins match. Um, 
but that's just like any other stroke or match play, except it's with a team. Uh, usually two on two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, speed golf is basically going through the courses as fast as you possibly can. Uh, you're going for time and not for strokes. Um, like, I'll just play this for the heck of it, just to show you guys the mode. Uh, and you, there's some gonna be some super hyper camera work. Whoa! And then you got Lacka 2 or Lucky 2 with the uh, Mario Golf like uh, thing here. And then there's no time to aim, just start firing off towards the fairway. Yeah, because it's not based on stroke. You just have to get it under, uh, get it in the hole as fast as you possibly can for each hole. Uh, and I'm just not gonna aim whatsoever. I'm not gonna check it with the X button. I'm just gonna hit towards it, trust it with the win, and then make my putt as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, this hole took only about 25 seconds. Oh, the clock is still running even when the ball gets in the hole. Um, and that's all there is to speed golf. Again, the music is pretty cool in this mode. So listen. Yeah, that's hardcore golf music. But as I said, doesn't really pay to show off this part of the game. I should say, show off this uh, uh, mode in the walkthrough because it's basically the same as it was before in other modes. Um, training, you just play any hole you want to. Um, you can play any hole from any course that you have here just by selecting them, like Baby Congo Pit Canopy Hole 4, uh, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, why do I have to keep selecting a character? Dang you! Um, tournament is basically the same as Star Tournament, but Star Tournament is much harder, as I explained before, because it puts you at the back tees with tournament greens. Um, to unlock the Star Tournament, you have to play through all of these in order, because you can't unlock later courses until you beat the courses behind it. Like, you would, to unlock this one, you'd have to beat this one. To unlock this one, you'd have to beat this one, etc., all the way up to here. And when you beat this one, then you unlock the Star Tournament, and then you do the same thing all over again with these. Um, uh, that's about it for that. Um, now, what I'm going to show you, because I've got a bunch of requests for this, and it would be pretty fun to show off myself, is to show off the best shots that I've ever made on the highlights reel here. Um, there's certain ones that I locked. Um... Like, uh, the ones that are highlighted here, I locked for certain reasons. So I'm only going to show the ones that I locked, uh, because the other ones are ones that I pretty much either already showed you on camera, because they overwrite the ones I did before, or they are ones that... Um... Wait, no, that's it. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, and then it's going to show you a replay of how I played the hole. Like, there's, there's obviously something special about this hole that I saved. Like, why did I save this one? I don't remember, actually, why I saved this one. Um, it's hole 8 of Blooper Bay. As you can see... Uh, oh, I remember why. Oh, wait, maybe I don't remember why. It does, no? Oh, I must I must get a chip in on this one, which is why... Yeah. So this one really isn't that special. I don't know why I saved it, to be honest. Um, a chi chippins are like a dime a dozen for me nowadays, so, um, this, this one is the other birdie that I saved. Birdies are even, li like a penny a dozen in Mario Golf, so they typically aren't worth showing, uh, unless they're like something special that I saved, as I said, so that's why I'm only going through, through the ones that I locked. Or I'll, I'll probably go through all the hole-in-ones and albatrosses that I got as well, maybe, I'm not sure. Let's just see how things go. Um... So evidently, this is Koopa I'm playing as. Oh, I, I remember uh, how I wanted to play this one. Um, when I played this course before, I took Koopa. Um, this isn't a star Koopa that I'm playing at. This is a regular Koopa that I'm playing this course with. Um, so this course was uh, incredibly difficult because I didn't have a character with a very high drive. So, and a putt like that, on a green like that, is a pretty exceptional birdie, but that still wasn't all that special, to be honest, so that was actually kind of boring. Um, I saved only six eagles, so let's start out with this one. This one is Blooper Bays. How did I get this eagle? I was actually able to play off that whale island with Yoshi, evidently. Um, how, how the heck did I manage to get over there? <laughs> I must 
have been playing from the front tees or something. And that seems like it was way too much power there. Or why would I why would he even knock down on the power there? Um this is a pretty long puck here. That's around 27 yards. It, maybe actually, no, I mean, uh, well, that would be about 30 yards, actually. Or 30 feet, excuse me. Why do I keep saying yards? 